The DA, in collaboration with the community of Chatsworth, south of Durban, have staged a march in protest against ANC Youth League President Julius Malema. And power utility ESCOM has resumed shutting down Unit 2 of the Kuburg nuclear power station. I'm Richard Brooks. The DA, in collaboration with the community of Chatsworth, south of Durban, have staged a march in protest against ANC Youth League President Julius Malema. Malema allegedly used a derogatory name against Indians when he spoke to a community of Gauteng using the K-word. Malema has since apologized. The DA's provincial leader, Sizwe Matunu, says racial utterances by some people holding senior positions in society should be condemned. We are therefore saying in this much, we are a united country, our vision of a united country, Rainbow Nation, which was always articulated by Nelson Mandela, is what should actually be driving us, all of us as different races, in our different cultures, but also in our different religions. We are a very diverse country, and we should acknowledge and honor the diversity that exists, or that is there in our country and in our province. He has since apologized, yes, but it's not the first time that these statements have been made, and probably it is time now that we are able to to actually stand up and say, hang on, enough is enough. We cannot continue with leaders going on to actually make these racial or racist utterances. Power utility ESCOM has resumed shutting down Unit 2 of the Kuburg nuclear power station. This is to allow for repairs to be done to the unit's generator. ESCOM's Hilary Joffe says the repairs are expected to take a number of weeks. However, Unit 1 will continue to operate. ESCOM says the shutting down of Kuburg's Unit 2 should not result in a shortage of supply of electricity to the country. Joffe has called on consumers to implement energy-saving measures wherever possible. It will obviously take some capacity off the power system for South Africa as a whole, so that adds to the challenges of managing an already tight system. Uh, the system in summer takes some careful management because we try and do a lot of maintenance. So we urge everyone to use electricity carefully and wisely, uh, but we are resolved to keep the lights on and we will be managing those ta- challenges in the next few weeks. Roads around the Coca-Cola Stadium, known as Ellis Park in Joburg, have been closed off to traffic to make it easy for rugby fans to enter the stadium. This comes ahead of the Curry Cup rugby final between the Lions, who top the log, and defending champions, the Sharks. Gauteng's police spokesperson, Obed Sebasa, says motorists must take alternative routes. The following routes will be blocked off. Charlton Terrace at the intersection with Steve Wright. Miller and Upper Railway, Miller and Davy Street, Four Road and Davy Street, the Zen Note and Hose, the Zen Note and Davy, Sivright Avenue and Era Street, Bedrams and Erin Street, Bedrams and Miller Street, Van Beek and Bates Street.